Hello everyone, it's the Ramen Noodle Goddess and I am back today and first of all I would just like to say that if you hear someone playing the bass, it's my dad downstairs in the music room, sorry about that. But today we're going to be doing something that I've never done before and normally when I make videos nowadays I wear makeup and as you can see I'm not wearing makeup and as you can see I have acne and bags and it's awful. Um, but I have not really recently been seeing, but a lot more lately have been seeing more ads for, I think, Il Maquillage is how you pronounce it. Um, it's a foundation that is supposed to be really, really full coverage, and it's supposed to be this thing where you go online and you take a quiz, and you answer questions like, oh, what are you looking for in a foundation, and you talk about what different kinds of foundations that you've used in the past or what you're using currently. And currently what I use, um, because I'm cheap and I don't have money, I just use um, Elf's Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Sand. And uh, this works like you would expect a five, six dollar drugstore foundation to work. I think it's fine for the price. I don't need something that's like absolutely over the top, like bougie, amazing coverage. It'd be cool to like cover all my acne, but like I don't really care. I just want to look kind of one color. Um, but I think this is a perfectly fine drugstore foundation, and so I use that almost every day. And I recently, I normally see these ad the ads for this on um, either Instagram. Sometimes I see them before YouTube videos. And there was this free trial going on. You can try it for 14 days, and if you don't like it, you can return it for free, and they won't charge you. They only charge you for shipping. So that's what I did, and I'm going to test it out. It's going to be a 100% honest review because I'm really picky about my makeup, and if I don't like it, I'm going to send it back. So I got this in the mail today, actually. I think, oh, geez. <laughs> I think it took maybe four days for it to completely process and ship, four or five days. It comes with this thing, don't know what it is, um, over 75% of women get foundation wrong, get yours right. Oh, it's the steps. Um, step one, apply two pumps to your entire face, jaw, and neckline. Step two, blend out with a brush or sponge, not by hand. That's something, well obviously not by hand, but that's something interesting because I think on their website, um, when you order the product, it actually says it's better to apply by brush. Um, rather than a sponge. So I went, I normally apply mine by sponge, so I don't ever use a foundation brush. Um, I normally use Jeffree Star's and Morphe's um, beauty sponge, but I think today I'm going to try using this. This is the only foundation looking brush that I could find. We're going to see if it works. I might do the thing where like it's going to be half face that I do with the brush and then half face that I do with the beauty sponge, but we'll see. We'll start out with the brush. And then it says, step three, wait five minutes for the foundation to set before checking the shade. So that's really weird. I feel like if you're getting ready for just like your everyday, you know, daily makeup routine or whatever, you're not going to like want to wait five minutes to continue doing your makeup routine. You know, you want to keep going, get things done. Um, so we'll see how well that does. Um, step four, don't match to your neck or wrist. They're a different tone than your face, which I also think is interesting. I'm still new to the whole Il Maquillage foundation thing, but from what I could tell from the ad that I clicked on, you couldn't, like, straight up pick your shade. It was more like you took the quiz and the computer or the website picked it for you, and I don't remember which shade ended up, like, being sent to me. Because I think it tells you when you check out. And I don't know if, like, if you want to keep reusing it. I'm assuming that you can, like, go back and get the same shade. Um, but I still think that's a little weird. I think you should be able to be, like, given a chance to just browse all of the shades, like, right up front. But whatever. And then step five, finish your face with concealer, blush, and bronzer. Which I'm just going to put powder on it. I just want to see how the foundation wears throughout the rest of the day. It's already 3.30 and I'm going to be basically just doing work in the house. So I'm going to be kind of flattening it up a bit. So we'll see how it holds up. That's something I'm going to be testing it on. But this also says for step six, wear for a full week to determine if it's a perfect fit for you. And I don't know about you, but when I put a foundation on, I want to know if it's a perfect fit like right away. Because if I don't like it, then I'm not going to wear it for a full week. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, this brush is really gross. I found this in my sister's room. Those are the steps it gives you. It gives you six of them. I'll keep that by me. Um, and then it gives you this little pamphlet, booklet thing. Um, it has some ratings on the back. Five star. And then it, this is just for the 14 day free trial thing, I think. And then it gives you their formula. I've already prepped my skin with moisturizer. I'll just use some primer in a second. And it says it plays well with a rounded, full-bodied brush, like our 100 foundation brush. Um, for light coverage, snag a sponge. So I don't know. I'll have to look up later if I'll have to look up later what their recommended um, brush looks like. But I don't think this is like the best option but it's the only brush that i have that can apply foundation so we're gonna use this and then i think i will do like half face um sponge just to see how it wears compared to the brush it says add one to two pumps of woke up like this to the back of your hand dot the product onto the center of your face and blend out let dry and check yourself in the natural light so i guess the shade name is woke up like this it comes in this box and it looks like it's taped, so we'll just cut that. I think that's all that's in here. Um, there's paper at the bottom, but I think that's just filler paper. Yeah. So that's the box. Packaging, I have to say, is pretty nice so far. Okay, so it comes like this, and then, oop, oh, that's actually kind of cute. Okay, it comes like that, that's my shade. Let's compare it, it looks a little light, but... In this light, I do look pale right now, but I'll show you guys, or I'll tell you guys how I look like in real life, I guess. Okay, so there's that. Okay. So, this is the glass packaging, and uh, through the bottle, it's a little foggy, but it looks a lot lighter than what I normally use. And to be fair, it is winter time, so my skin has lost its color a little bit. I'm a lot paler than what I was and this has become a little dark on me so we'll see how well this one does. Um, but yeah, this is the Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation by Il Maquillage and we will go ahead and try it. Um, I think I've read enough instructions to know how to apply this foundation. Um, I feel like for a somewhat full coverage, very expensive foundation, this should be fairly easy to apply. The whole thing, I think, all together, because I got the free uh, trial thing and I only paid for shipping, the foundation itself, I believe, is $44. So, kind of pricey, and I really hope, if I don't like it, I can return it in time so that they won't charge me. Anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to use what primer I always use, which is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Yes, that's what it's called. Um, and I always apply that with my beauty sponge. And I mostly just, um, oops, I should tie my hair back. I mostly just put this, um, under my eye area and then on my nose because that's where my pores are the largest. Okay, I went ahead and put my hair up just to get out of the way for you guys to see a little bit better. And I'm gonna roll my sleeves up. I'm gonna use just an eyeshadow palette as a mirror and let's see how this does. I'm gonna sit a little closer to the camera. Um, by the way, the light that I'm using on my phone, I film on my phone, I have a little portable selfie light, um, but the light that I'm using does make my face look a little bit brighter than it is in real life. So I'm not this pale, um, so I will tell you guys how I look in real life. So. Oh no. One, two. That should be enough. I wasted a little bit and it's spilling out the edge of the bottle, but that's fine. The color looks fine. The packaging is really nice. Like this, just the cap of the foundation, it's pretty heavy. Um, so that's nice, but I have foundation here. I'm going to go ahead and take the brush and then I'm going to aim for this acne cluster. <laughs> And then, oh, let me see how I actually look. Normally in the ads, they do like one swipe and it's like, ugh. Um, it's definitely like not my exact shade, but I think 
blending it out it might look good. Um, keep in mind, I don't really know how to use a foundation brush because I never use one. So, I'm sorry if this looks bad because of that. Ow, I don't know how to get it like under my eye area. My nose is very red. Okay. Um, not honestly sure how to feel about this. So, it's like, a foundation obviously it's covering my face and it's making it all like balanced and one color and you can definitely tell it took away most of the shine up here and it matted it out which is what I wanted and you can definitely tell the shade difference like you can see the line it's on camera it's very subtle and I think in real life it's fairly subtle as well but they're definitely, I definitely can see a difference. Um, and going off of what I've seen in the ads, it's not as full coverage as it looks, at least not with the brush I'm using, which unfortunately is the only brush. I wish I could have gotten an actual foundation brush before I realized, you know, that I actually needed one um, to completely test this foundation out to see if it actually worked. Um, and to be fair, again, most of the ads I've seen, um, with the girls applying the foundation, they already had basically perfect skin, which is also why I wanted to try this, because I have nowhere near, like, close to perfect skin. My face is so acne prone, um, but you can definitely still see the acne. I'm gonna go ahead, I don't know, I think with this brush it is okay um, you can still kind of see my eye bags. It's definitely better than this side, definitely. But it's, in my opinion, mm, with this brush, not up to the hype that it says it would live up to. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my beauty sponge, which is already damp. I have plenty. I put way too much. I have a fairly small face. Um, so it doesn't take much foundation to cover. I feel like if you were the type to like get this foundation and you had acne and you ask for um full coverage it should be covering your acne you know what i'm saying it should live up to that hype let me get my forehead i have a fat pimple right there hopefully i can cover it up Okay, so it definitely, <laughs> it's definitely not covering the pimple up on my forehead. And I'm sort of just trying to like cake it on to see if it will cover it up at all. Um, but you can definitely, like, it's still red. Um, yeah, you always see the ads with the girls going, Wow, oh my god, it's so amazing. But like literally, this honestly feels almost no different than my e.l.f. foundation. I don't know. Maybe it's just the brush that I didn't use correctly or the type of brush that I didn't use. Um, but it feels like it's a little thicker. But the coverage is almost the same. Like, I could probably wipe half of my face off and then apply the ELF foundation. And because the shade's different, it's going to look a little different, but the coverage would be almost the same. Um, I can't tell if... No. I was going to say, I think my eye bags maybe covered up a little bit better, but they are not. Um, I don't know... I don't know, it says to apply two pumps to your entire face, so maybe 
Let me try using more of what I have on my hand here. Okay, I covered it up a little bit more, obviously, because I put more on there. Um... I don't know. I mean, it's definitely closer to my shade, I feel like, than my um, e.l.f. one, just because I've lost my tan. Let me actually turn off that. Whoa. Okay, the shadow is a little worse. But, like, it is definitely, it's a little orange. And you can definitely still see my acne. Like, this side, after I put on another like bit on my hand for my hand it got covered up a little bit more um but i feel like the side with the sponge is definitely lighter like they said it would be but the side with the brush is definitely not as fully covered as they said it would be um i don't know i mean i'm probably just gonna apply more to the other half of my face and then do some work i'm gonna turn this back on um, yeah, that is a major difference in lighting. Um, but I'm just going to use some of the parts that spilled off the bottle. Yeah, it's definitely not covering it as much as I would like. And obviously because it's like kind of bumpy, it's not going to fully, fully cover it just because you'll still see the difference in dimension. But even like my acne scars up here are not getting covered completely. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, those dots right there are my acne scars. They're not getting covered. And I feel like with a full coverage foundation, these beauty marks here and here should have gotten covered. Like not saying that I want them to be covered, but we'll see how this wears and I will give you guys an update. Okay, so after looking in my mirror in the bathroom, it's so orange. I I can try. Okay, hold on. Come with me. So I decided to go to the bathroom to put powder on it, and there's powder on it now, but even before, it was so orange, so cakey, if you can tell in this lighting. Okay. Can you tell the difference between, so my neck is paler than my face, but it's pretty close to what my face looks like now, that, that skin tone. And like, hold on. Okay. Can you tell the difference? I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's definitely darker. It's definitely more orange. Like I don't completely hate it because obviously I wear my e.l.f. foundation every day, and it's a lot darker than my normal skin tone, so it's not like horrible, but dear lord, maybe it's because of how much I put on trying to cover my, oh, I'm not even showing you guys, my acne, but it's so cakey, like so cakey, not even just in the spots where I tried to cover up my acne, like my nose is pretty cakey, and I don't know, I can still see my eye bags, and I look like a wrinkled old, old person, and I don't know how to feel about it. Because like, from afar, like all foundations, it looks fine, it looks okay, like you can still see some acne, my bags are screaming, but like, even when you get a little close, oh my god, it's cakey, Jesus Christ. Um. But I will follow through with this test and I'm gonna wear it throughout the rest of the day and until I take it off at night like I normally would before bed and we'll see how it wears. <laughs> you know, my mom always tells the truth about my makeup. Let's go see what she thinks. Mom, do you like my foundation? 
It's kind of dark. I don't like it. Because Besides the fact that it's dark, what is? what do you think? Well, it, 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 it see more, if it doesn't land it in. What were you, did you use before, though, before Primer better than this? Elf? I don't know, but yeah. they already before better yeah. than that. Really? Mm -hmm, because of now, it just, you can feel like the skin, like a suck, suck, suck up, you know, like, I, that's what I it's don't like the brown. Mm -hmm. I just dry it up just like oh, you could see the up. skin. Okay. Dry, but it's not bland like nicely in your skin. This side I used a brush or a, a sponge, and this side I used a brush. Can you tell the difference? Yeah, I tell a difference. You can? Mm hmm. This is, yeah, this is better than this. You like the sponge better? Right. But the, the one before. It's more better, I guess. It cover better. My e.l.f. foundation, the one I used before I this one. I guess. I don't know what kind. Okay, so. Good to know. Okay. I also forgot to mention, always set your makeup with setting spray. I completely forgot. Whew. We'll see how it holds up through the setting spray, too. It is currently 1 a.m. And this is what my makeup looks. And it is all gone up here my acne showing through a little bit more i look very crusty and tired um, most of it is gone okay so it's the end of the day and i'm really oily right now i'm wearing different makeup completely different day um but the foundation that got picked for me, I think if maybe it wasn't, if it wasn't as full, wow, I'm so oily. If it wasn't as full coverage, um, like not as thick or cakey, and if it was the right color, maybe I would have been more impressed. But it felt like, probably just because it was so thick, it was just a little cheap feeling for me. Like, I've used foundations in the past that were really cheap like elf foundation is cheap but like it doesn't have the same effect in the way that i've experienced um with the il maquillage and just other cheaper foundations that i don't like because they're too cakey or whatever um and also it's just way too expensive for me um i think if i had the money i'd be willing to try again with a different formula maybe less coverage so it'd be less cakey on my face and hopefully with a slightly um, lighter shade because it was just way too orange for me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be returning it. Maybe if I ever decide to try it again, I will definitely try it with the brush recommended that they sell on their website. So if you do want to try this out, I recommend getting the brush with the package first, um, just to see how it works because I feel like it might work better then. But that is pretty much all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.